Hello and welcome. Today I have something special. This is Roy Walton and this is for Mexi Mex. Mexi was a student of Roy's and he asked if I would do this because Roy Walton passed away on February 4th. Might have been February 3rd. I'm not sure. Uh, Mexi, if you know, please put the exact date down below. But I believe it was February 4th of 2020. And so this is commemorating this great man's life. And I hope I do it justice. Mexi, if I forgot anything, please put it in the comments down below. So Roy Walton was born April 11th, 1932. April 11th, 1932. Crossed over February 4th, 2020. He was a world-renowned card expert, and he is the inventor of Card Warp. Folks, that is one of my favorite close-up illusions. In fact, I really, except for maybe the crazy man's handcuffs, I cannot think of a more perfect close-up illusion. I'm going to look for some links. I think Michael Lamar has done a great job with it. I'm going to put some links down below so you can take a look at it. If you've not seen it, I will never forget being at a, I think it was a SAM meeting. I was very young. I'm at an SAM meeting. I've never seen card work before. And one of the guys there presented it to me and I was blown away. What a perfect illusion it is. But he is the inventor. He became interested in magic when he was eight years old. You know, I, I can how many, how many magicians can say that they became interested in magic when they were eight, nine, 10, 11? in that ballpark. I, I think that's when we fall in love and it and it bites, the, the magic bug bites and it never lets go and it never did for him either. When he was young, he visited Davenport's every Saturday. That reminds me of when I was young, I used to go down to Phil Thomas's Yogi Magic Mart every single Saturday. My dad would drop me off in the morning. He'd pick me up late at night. I spent the entire day there running errands. Probably he did much the same at Davenport's. If you did not know, Davenport's is the world's oldest family-run magic business, founded in 1898 by Lewis Davenport in the UK in London. At Davenport's, Walton would eventually come to know Alex Elmsley, Jack Avis, John Darris, Bobby Bernard, and Ted Danson. This creative group became known as the Beatles of Magic, with Elmsley and Walton as Lennon and, as Lennon and McCartney. In 1959, he married Jean Davenport, the daughter of George Davenport. From 1969 to 2019, he managed Tam Shepard's trick shop in Glasgow for the Davenports. He mentored numerous Scottish magicians, including Paul Wilson and our own Mexi Mex. He contributed to Magic Magazine and Genie Magazine. Most of his best works were collected in a three-volume set called The Complete Walton, published by the Davenports. The Complete Walton, uh, volumes one, two, and three, are available through, I believe it's Vanishing Ink, and I believe the price is $225 for all three volumes, although you could purchase the volumes separately if you wanted to. I'm going to read to you some a quotation from the advertising copy from Vanishing Ink. Roy Walton's influence on the world of magic is undeniable. As one of Magic's smartest and most innovative magicians, he inspired generations of great card magicians. With this three-volume collection, you'll gain access to more than 300 slights and effects, including many original plots. This includes Roy Walton's work on everything from the multiple shift, second and bottom deals, the half pass to his original, the collectors, the smiling mule, Overworked card, card warp, cascade, and many other beloved card magic tricks. He invented them all. Despite, despite not wishing to be in the limelight, Dominic Tuz said, the man was literally a living legend, respected by magicians the world over.
According Roy Walton is without doubt the most complete card magician of the 20th century. Mexi, I hope you enjoyed this, and for the rest of you, I hope you did too. If you did not know this man, I hope you do now. If, you do not, if you're not familiar with his work, I hope you will become familiar with his work. He was truly a genius. His contributions will continue to influence magicians for generations to come. Mexi, thank you so much for asking me to do this. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. If you have not done so already, please comment down below. I love your comments. And don't hesitate to ask for something just like Maxi did. I will do my best to get it on. Uh, I've got enough, I've got maybe maybe 10 requests in the back burner that I'm working on, folks. You know, it might take me a while because I'm only posting once a week here, but I will get to it, I promise you. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.